can you explain the value? You know, you got everybody watching YouTube. They probably thinking I'm better than Shanice. I can, I can do it myself. I can say thousands, you know, really talk about, you know, the importance of hiring a professional like yourself versus thinking, you know, folks who just run off in the sunset and, and create these masterpieces um, that, that you create on a daily basis. Um, well, I would say go for it. Go ahead. Okay. Try it yourself. Okay. <laughs> Let me know how it goes because. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, it, like to be real, like I think that hiring a professional like myself, it, I come in with the expertise of not people try to do things by themselves, like, you know, whether it's through an edit or getting things out of their closet, but then there's so much emotional attachment to certain things that you end up like not getting rid of what you should be getting rid of. You end up back in the same cycle. You either get frustrated and end up not wanting to do it or you pull everything. Most people start this. They pull everything out their closet and they go, now what? For me, I have an eye, which allows me to see like, okay, this is how after just through conversation or communication, like understanding their lifestyle or, you know, just them telling me like the daily day to day things that they do. I then create the space so that way it flows and functions with their day to day. And they don't even recognize it because we're on autopilot all the time that we always go to the same things all the time. It's literally like you get up, you get dressed, you brush your teeth, all the things that you do naturally because it's sub subconscious. You already know what you have to do. Whereas I create that space so that way when you come into the space, it's the same thing. It becomes like your subconscious and it makes life flow easier when you're doing your laundry and putting your laundry away after I'm out the space. You know, everything has a place. I know this goes here. I know this goes there. But when they try to do it themselves, they don't even know where to start. They don't know what they're getting rid of. There's like a whole process that I take people through of like, who are you trying to become? What season of your life are you in? What are you making room for? What are we making room for? Like if you're single and you want another relationship, well, there's no room in this closet for his stuff. Like I try to help them create the space of where they're trying to go in their life. And I have like a little fun, uh, funny Thing that I put on my Instagram when it's like, okay, I, I can do it myself. And I show them what happens when my clients have done it themselves and they call me because it's a disaster still. <laughs> they get frustrated at a certain point and just toss everything back in the closet. Like, man, I don't have time for this. Right. Like, I knew you'll call me. Even people who like, I don't have the money. Like, I'll try again. I'm like, no problem. Literally a year, six months, two months, I get a call back. And I'm just always like, okay, no worries. I knew you would call. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, man. But that's got to be tough, especially, you know, my, my thing is, especially like people that hoard or either have a hard time getting rid of old stuff. Like, doesn't that, aren't you like scared to like, I would say hurt people's feeling like, especially if somebody like passed. Like, I know personally, like my grandfather passed and he was mm -hmm. like, I didn't have my father. So he was like my father figure. So I know for me, it's mm -hmm. like I have like a couple of pieces that, I'm not going to get rid of, but if people have more than that, like how do you help them navigate letting that go? Part? Yeah. Um, well, I like I said, I like to have fun. Like my uncle, he, there's a little nickname that he calls me like goofy because I'm always like finding like the humor in something just to make the situation a little bit lighter. Like that's just how my whole family is actually. Um, but when I'm in this space, especially if like someone's dealing with grief, I actually had a client recently, like she lost her mom and her sister during the pandemic back to back. Um, and you know, she was like, I just want to get organized. And as we were going through the closet, there are things she's like, well, my sister gave me this or my mom. And I'm like, well, are you going to either wear this? Are you going to use this? Like, did they value it? Like, you know, finding out if the person that passed, like, did they actually value this item or was it just an item in their house? And you're like, it's the last thing that I have you know, to hang on to them. Like, it's important to like ask those questions of like how connected they are to the piece. I don't make them get rid of everything, but if there's like, you know, a lot of things that you're not going to use, think about who it can help. Like, mm -hmm. would, you know, like who can you give it to? Maybe somebody in the family, maybe instead of just like, oh, I'm just going to donate it somewhere, find the organization that you know will be able to utilize it so that you know that your family's like heirlooms are being used somewhere that people are going to respect it, honor it the way that you would have. So like, I just ask like certain questions to make sure that, you know, we're not throwing out something one that's valuable or worth money because sometimes those things, you know, from family can be that. And two, if it has like some kind of connection, you know, personally to you. And if not, like take a picture of it. And then when you're ready to give it away, like at least you still have the photo and it, whatever, because people don't understand that it's not the item. 
like that, that like provokes the emotion or the feeling or the remembrance. Sometimes you can literally take a picture of something, look at that picture because your mind doesn't know the difference. Mm. Like your body, you'll still be able to evoke the same experience, the same, you'll be able to sit, smell the same sense, whatever it is, it'll like just bring back that memory. So I just like walk people through a series of questions when we're going through that process. 